Speaking of public transport, the coming year will see more initiatives rolled out to boost the reliability of the public transport system. With higher service levels expected, observers are hoping fares will be kept affordable. They believe any changes to fares will most likely be revealed late next year. Observers say a greater push is needed to make the public transport system a reliable alternative. The Committee of Inquiry into the December 2011 train breakdowns has spurred operators to boost the reliability of the rail network. But disruptions on the new Circle and North East lines have continued to rattle public confidence. Much remains to be done. The confidence will be restored once people experience reliability. Bus services should also become more reliable with better frequencies. In a rare move, the government set aside $1.1 billion to purchase 550 buses over five years to enhance services. Recruitment of bus drivers, particularly Singaporeans, is proving to be a challenge. News that fares may go up to help raise driver salaries generated much public debate. But Transport Minister Lui Tuck Yu said fare increases are meant to improve service to commuters while keeping operations commercially viable. Observers say service levels and public sentiments should be factored into the new fare formula. I think if we consider the overall economic situation and the, uh, the sentiment from the public, uh, if we do put those as the major consideration, then I personally feel the likelihood to have the fare increase is very slim. Profits made by operators must also be considered. What is a reasonable rate of return to them? Yeah, personally, you know, without going into the facts, I think the rate of return is quite good. And should fares increase, subsidies should also be given to the needy. Rather than ad hoc transport vouchers, that we can build in a mechanism where people in the lower income group uh, would automatically be, and be uh, given certain transport subsidies. There were no fare increases in 2012 as the Fair Review Committee worked on a new formula and recommendations to be unveiled early next year. Parliament will then debate on the issue, while public transport operators typically submit applications for fare adjustments to the Public Transport Council in the middle of the year. And going by past practices, it's understood that any changes to fares will most likely be known by September or later next year.